remember that amazing RE2 remake from back in January? Well, I haven't forgotten about it. Especially Mr. X. Just barging in, scaring the shit out of everyone. Mr. X, or the Tyrant, is one of the most popular B.O.W.s in the Resident Evil series. With his brute strength, lack of concern for personal space, and of course, his cute little hat. But he does have some competition, though. Remember this guy? Yep, that's right. I'm hoping they remake this one next. Nemesis is an advanced version of Mr. X, with better coordination and intelligence. I mean, come on, he can shoot guns. He was purposed with wiping out the remaining Stars team following the mansion incident to further hide Umbrella's involvement in the T-Virus outbreak. Mr. X, though, has a similar agenda. In the original Part 2, he was after the sample of G-Virus and Sherry's pendant. In the remake, though, he was sent to kill any survivors left in Raccoon City, namely Leon and Claire. But let's look at some stats. Upon creating the T-Virus, Umbrella wanted to make bioweapons that were strong and obedient to their command. This failed, however, when they learned that the T-Virus had a different effect on humans. They discovered that one in a million people have the genetic makeup capable of mutating them correctly into a tyrant. After many failed attempts, like the T-001 and T-002, Mr. X is a T-003 tyrant who was cloned from the likeness of Sergei Vladimir, one of Umbrella's executives who was genetically capable of bonding with the virus. Fitted with a bullet and fire resistant trench coat that also prevented further mutation, Mr. X proved to be Umbrella's greatest achievement. Mr. X is able to follow basic commands and was programmed to do nothing but accomplish its mission, no matter the obstacle. As strong as it is though, it would, however, finally mutate after sustaining enough damage, reverting it back to more of a primitive tyrant look. This was Umbrella's crown jewel for the longest time, that is, until Nemesis showed up. Nemesis is a variation of the T-003 tyrant that has been implanted with the NE parasite, making it more intelligent and able to think on its own rather than follow basic commands. The parasite attaches itself to the nervous system and creates its own brain, basically using the tyrant body as a host. Nemesis is also intelligent enough to fire weapons. It's armed with a rocket launcher and occasionally a Gatling gun. The parasite also secretes a liquid that gives the Nemesis regenerative properties, rendering it basically invincible. Although after enough prolonged damage, the host body will reject the parasite and mutate into a blob of tissue with spines on it. So which one of these B.O.W.s is superior? Who would win in a fight? Well, my money's on the Nemesis, but it's really hard to tell. Alright guys, that's it for this one. See ya.